What's cracking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Acid Trance, and back with a crazy, like, modern Acid Trance tune. I did the reaction to Ian Cross's Sexy Beast. That was sort of the first reaction that I've done uh, for this, like, post-2000 Acid Trance um, collection that I've amassed um, from a number of different labels, a number of different dope artists. Um, again, it's not the Acid Trance of, you know, Pablo Gargano and Coors and Commander Tom from the 90s but it's super dope, it's sort of like modernized, it, it has like a more modern sound. Um, not that all these tracks by these different artists that I'm talking about for this second phase, not that they all have an identical sound, of course they don't. Um, but again, all of the tunes in this sort of modern acid trance category, as I've dubbed it, um, definitely have a different sound from the 90s stuff. So we're gonna listen to a tune by Log and Rag One, or wait, Log One and Rag, sorry, let me get that right. Yeah, but it's uh, James Logan and Toby Veal. Um, they make a, n a number of tunes in this sort of modern hard trance style. Um, this record's completely uh, unrelated to the sleeve. Uh, it's a Tetsuo sleeve. I don't know where it came from. Uh, regardless, this is on the very minimal info um, attached Omen recordings. Um, it doesn't even list that these tunes are by um, Log One and Rag, but um, you know I've seen comments not only in Discogs but a couple other places that this is indeed um, a tune from them. Uh, this label released, they're like, you know, uh, bootlegs essentially of like famous tracks but redone in a sort of acid trance, hard trance style. And again, this sort of like more modern acid trance style. So this is a tune where it plays off of the Terminator theme. Um, so hopefully we don't get hit for like copyright infringement from the, what is it, Brad Friedel? Um, not the goaltender, uh, or the goalkeeper, sorry. Uh, but no, there's a, the guy who composed the Terminator score. But yes, this is uh, on Omen Recordings. It's from 2009. It's by Log One and Rag. Uh, and I think, is it un, does it give a title for it? it, it okay, so it's just called Terminator, yeah. So this is Terminator by Log One and Rag on Omen Recordings, 2009. <clears throat> you can already hear that Terminator, like, that sort of um, ominous industrial ambient. By the way, this tune fucking bangs. Real sense of anticipation already. Excuse me. No. Love the like industrial Terminator factory vibe already. by the, the power and echo of the clap now, but... work, which is amazing, rich, lush, the blending with the heavy bass line, oh. the heavy bass line and like this buzzing synth that are kind of doubling each other, that combination mixed with the acid, but now we have the Terminator like, I don't know if it's like a flute. Listen to everything. And now we get the Sarah Connor vocal, but all like washed out and dead. And now the end. 
War against the machines. But now that from from the score, right? The sound, the score when the Terminator is just implacable. It just keeps coming. You can't stop it. And it will never stop until you are dead. But now. They're just having fun, our log one and rag. Using everything, using sound, score, now the main theme, but like, you know, digitized and like, expanded. And it's also nice to work with and pay homage to the source material, which is already so good, right? Oh, right there, that part. Where the chords progress right at the end there. Now it gets a little like, not more staccato, but a little bouncier the way it's going through the melody, like a little more trance like. And it's like two, right? It's like the, the higher end and then there's the. It's not like completely no frills, there's a bit of drama and atmosphere as it gets ready to release there, but when it finally does drop, it's sort of no nonsense, it just starts again. It's not like a big snare roll and a smash of the cymbal, it's just like, go. But I haven't played at a party. I only had it since like 2014, and the parties I've played since then, the like three parties I've played since then, are all they're all techno parties. So I never played this at a set or at a party, but I bet you this would kill the trance dance floor. Acid? We're gonna get acid again soon. But this time it didn't just drop in, this time it kind of crept back in. Let's see what that means. Acid ride out, anyone? Yes, thank you. Nope, I heard that pop. Bring that clap back in right there, like... I like the way it did that sequencing. Like that syncopated, stagnated roll at the measure end. Acid keyed up even more. Just how like rich and like warbly it is. Warbly, an official term if you've been watching my videos going back to my old channel. If you're new here, you're gonna have to get comfortable with the terminology, I don't know what to say. But again, I will use words and phrases consistently even if they're weird, so that over time you may begin to understand what I mean. That high so subtle. I, I'm not sure if it's going to come across, but there's like this really high, subtle layer. <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing. Uh, I have several tunes by these guys. Um, might not even be my favorite, but it's certainly like, you know, the most memorable. It's like, you know, you would not forget hearing a tune like this. When you left the party that night, you'd be like, bro, remember that Terminator fucking track with all the acid? My God. Uh, so yeah, honestly, it's a fucking cracking tune. I have, th they did a remix. Uh, I have another Omen record of theirs. They did a remix of a Prodigy track. That one, holy shit, I gotta listen to that one. I gotta react to that, that's fucking amazing. <clears throat> I, I think I've used them in mixes together. I think I've gone from one into the other. I think they, you know, they have a similar sort of atmosphere. <coughs> Even if the source material 
uh, is very different. So anyway, let me know if you enjoyed that. Let me know if you are a fan of Log One and Rag. Um, as I said, I have several tunes by them. Um, so we'll get to more of them. And again, just if you're interested in this modern acid trance, please do comment because as I said, not only do I have literally hundreds of records of the sort of vintage, you know, mid to late 90s acid trance, but I got a lot of this stuff too. Um, and I'm, the more I start thinking about it, the more I realize, you know, there's an untapped gold mine here that I really got to start reacting to. So that's two videos now, uh, but there's going to be a lot more. So hopefully you're here for that. Um, as I said, I'll keep people apprised of what's going on with my two channels uh, right now. I'm hoping to get access to the first one, but I may have to wait a day or two before YouTube even responds to me, and then after that we'll see what they say. Um, so it might be like a week or so until I figure out exactly what's going on. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep putting up videos on this new channel, hopefully growing the new channel a bit, and quite honestly, even if I get access to the old one, I may end up splitting the channels where like maybe the old one is going to be almost entirely electronic music, and then maybe I'll move... Uh, my non-electronic reactions to this channel where it'll be more, you know, like punk rock and jazz and classical music and other stuff that I've begun to react to. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, in any case, I will obviously keep you all informed, those of you who care um, to follow the uh, channel, and I do appreciate you. Uh, once again, shout out to David Edwards, um, D.B. Cooper, uh, huge champion, um, really been helping the channel, not just, you know, before, but already, like, trying to help me, like, get the new channel back to, you know, where it can be. Um, so big ups to him. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.